Hi, this is a review for Sleepy Hollow and uh, let's just say I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed the first episode. The pilot was really good and I heard about it, like I think last month, so I was excited for it but not like, too excited because um, the I heard Nicole Bahari, John Cho and Orlando Jones was going to be in that so I was like, oh this is cool, you know, people of colour in the um, fa urban fantasy show so this is great yeah and you know the leading ladies are black women and when was the last time you saw like, a fantasy show where the, you know the main character was a black woman it's like doesn't happen so yeah I was really excited about that um I enjoyed the the pilot like I said it was just good it's I'm not really like familiar with uh Sleepy Hollow um the legend of Sleepy Hollow that much well versed in it. I mean, I have seen the movie from back in the day. I've seen the cartoon too. Uh, but as far as everything else, I'm not too knowledgeable in the in the in the legend. But from what I do know, they really changed a lot of the things by like by making the headless horseman one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So that was like, wow, the apocalypse already in the first episode, in the first season. That's really cool. You know, straight to the point. Uh, I like that they brought so many different elements into it. You have witches, you have demons and other stuff and chain metal bending priests and Bibles stuff and history shiznit and snarky people. It's really good. I like it. I'm... Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be tuning in every week to watch it because it's 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 just good. I like the um the the graphics and the the visual, the, like the visual everything of it. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cold. The visual everything of it, yeah. If that makes sense, it doesn't. But yeah, like there was one part where Hellas Horseman versus Metal Chain Bending Priest Guy, yeah, and like priest guy he like does some type of shing with the chain and then hello horseman just like rips the chain off its hinges and shit and then he like whips it back and then the caution sign for the ho the people on horseback riding gets cut off in the head and like it lingers there on the next scene as it you know it, as the camera pans and i was like that's good that was clever even the part when the priest dies and his head gets chopped off and you see like the pov of him falling down and then you see the horseman walk, running off with the horse and everything that was cool i really enjoyed that part so yeah i'm just it's really i'm really into it i like the characters i like abby and i like um ichabod they really have a nice back and forth going on as we saw throughout the whole episode i like how abby's snarkiness and her i just like her snarkiness and her attitude it's just like she just makes me laugh sometimes and yeah it's just funny ichabod i like his awkwardness and his Looks like he's fish out of water shit of, of, um, coping with, uh, you know, modern technology and stuff. I hope, to, I hope to see more of that, you know. From the previews and the spoilers I have seen, yeah, it is actually hilarious. So, yeah, I'm going to be watching. So, yeah. Bye.